This is a presentation of the Moldy Cheese family of networks. Hey guys, welcome to Minnesota Twins Franchise. It's episode number 193. We're creeping towards 200 here. We're in year number four. It's game 79 through 82. Buckle up for a four-game series with the Texas Rangers. But first, let's get to some transactions. Just quickly, uh, we optioned Alex Wood to AAA Rochester and recalled starting pitcher Carlos Frias to take his place from Rochester. As I mentioned before, the Texas Rangers are in town. For a four-game series, which comprises the entire homestand, four games against the Rangers, then we head off to Fenway Park against the Red Sox, the defending world champions. The Rangers come in at 41 and 37. We are 31 and 47. Uh, hitting, 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 hitting is what has the Rangers over 500. They're 10th in average, 10th in home runs, 10th in RBIs. And we are 11th in average, right behind them. Yet we are 30th in home runs and 30th in RBIs. Pitching wise, they have a staff that we might be able to get to if we can uh, put together some good at bats and a good game plan against their pitchers. Let's start off here in game number one of the series. You Darvish facing the surprising rookie Felix Jorge, who is 3 and 0 with a 1.54 ERA. You Darvish. Having kind of a down year for the Rangers. He's 5-7, a 5.34 ERA, 86 innings pitched, uh, 99 strikeouts, 42 walks on the year for Darvish. As I mentioned before, Felix Jorge having a surprisingly good rookie season. 1.54 ERA, he's 3-0, 12 strikeouts, 7 walks. He's a pitch-to-contact pitcher. Doesn't get a lot of strikeouts, but he has good control, keeps the ball out of the middle of the plate, and that's something that our pitchers have struggled with this year is leaving pitches out over the plate. Justin Bohr in the bottom of the second inning drives one to center field with runners on second and third and two outs, and that strands the base runners. At the end of two, we still have no score here at Target Field in the first game of this four-game series. Fifth inning, D.D. Gregorius batting 178 with six home runs, 23 driven in. Two outs, a 2-2 two -two count from Felix Jorge, and he lifts one into center field. Buxton charging, makes the play, goes head over heels. And we have reached the midway point of the baseball game with no score on the board yet. We move ahead to the seventh now. James Milton, first baseman for the Rangers. He's batting 302 with seven home runs and 25 RBIs. And he's going to drive this one to the left center field gap. And it will be run down there by Eddie Rosario. Runner from third will tag and score, and that breaks the scoreless tie. James Milton with the RBI sack fly. Middle of the seventh, we stretch here at Target Field. It's one to nothing, Rangers. We go to the eighth. Eighth inning, Miguel Sano batting 290. 21 home runs, 47 RBIs. On pace, 400 RBIs and over 40 home runs. He drives this one deep to left field. That one's back of the track. Looking up at the wall, and it's caught right at the wall by the Rangers. That is Nomar Mazzara out there in left. At the end of eight, it's still one to nothing, Rangers. Ninth inning, Kevin Segrist on, trying to keep the score close. Going into the bottom of the ninth, not obviously not a save situation. James Milton comes to the plate. He's two for two with two singles on the day, and he's going to lace another one down the left field line. That one will get past Rosario into the corner. One run comes in to score. Another one will stop at third with one out, and it's two to nothing, Texas. We are managed to strand those runners at second and third. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. They hand the ball to closer Jake Diekman. 1.37 ERA, Herbert De La Rosa batting 239 with no home runs, 11 RBIs. Will step to the plate. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. Representing the tying run, he grounds at the third. Joey Gallo up on to first, and Joey Gallo throws it away. So Byron Buxton represents the winning run. A three-run home run here would walk us off, and he lines at the third, and Joey Gallo is there. That will end the game. Texas with the win, two to nothing. Starts off this season series with a win against the twins here in our game number 79 you darvish goes eight and a third giving up six hits 11 strikeouts and one walk a very good game for you darvish giving up no runs and uh that'll help out his down season for sure mario calero for us goes three for four with two doubles 
that is really the only uh, bright spot on the day for the Twins, although the pitching was pretty good to only give up two runs. We go to game number 80 of the season now. It's lefty Cole Hamels facing Jose De Leon, who has struggled here as of late. Cole Hamels, 7-7, seven seven, a 3.18 ERA, one inning shy of 100. He's given up 100 hits, 1.31 whip, 81 strikeouts, and 30 walks on the season. Jose De Leon started off the season well. The last three or four starts have not gone his way. He is down to a 6-5 record, a 4.13 ERA, and he's having a hard time. With his control and keeping the ball out of the middle of the plate, first inning action, Elvis Andrus, batting 218 with three home runs, 20 RBIs, leading things off for the Rangers. And the second pitch of the ball game is driven to left by Andrus, and that one is going to reach the seats. Solo home run to start the baseball game by Texas, and they jump out to a one to nothing lead. Not the start that De Leon was hoping for. The middle of one, the Rangers jump out to the early lead. We'll see if that translates into a win for Texas. Second inning action now. D.D. Gregorius, the second baseman. Not a great batting average. Has a little bit of pop in his bat, though, with runners on second and third. He drives it deep to right field. That one is headed towards the seats. And it's going to get up and get out. A three-run home run by D.D. Gregorius. And the Rangers jump all over Jose De Leon. Another bad outing. It's 4 to nothing. Texas with the lead in the second. We'll see how much leash we give Jose De Leon in this game. Sixth inning. Still 4 to nothing. Chad Bettis is in, so uh, he did not make it past the sixth. No Mar Masara at the plate. He's 2 for 2 on the day. A pair of singles. He did score a run. Having an all star caliber season with 10 home runs. And a 291 batting average. I think it was 35 RBIs. And Nomar Mazzara with home run number 11. It's 5 to nothing Rangers. So Chad Bettis comes in. Doesn't do much better than Jose De Leon was doing. Nomar Mazzara with another run on the board for Texas. And uh, pitching has really hurt us this year. Our starting staff has not performed the way they did last season. And that is killing us because we don't have the same kind of offense to make up for it. Chasen Shreve into pitch now for the Twins. He's facing Joey Gallo. Gallo's going to ground it up the middle for a base hit. Runner rounding third, heading to the plate, will score easily. And it's 6 to nothing Texas. So there's a rare old-fashioned RBI. 6 to nothing. Rangers with the lead. Here's Will Myers. His bat is starting to come around. Two for two with two singles. Batting average is up to 240 now. And Will Myers is going to smoke this one to left field. That one is deep, and it is into the upper deck. A home run for Will Myers in the bottom of the seventh, and finally the Twins are on the board in this series. First run after uh, 16, almost 16 innings. 15 innings, I guess, would be the official scoreless streak here against the Rangers. After 15 scoreless innings, the, innings, the Twins are on the board. It's 6-1. to one. We go to the 8th. Emilio Bonifacio batting 260 with one home run, five RBIs. Nobody on with two outs. Here comes the delivery from Hamels, and Bonifacio drives it deep to left field. That one is way back. It's a no-doubter, and it's into the third deck. Are you kidding me? That is Emilio Bonifacio. It's only his second home run of the year. He goes 423 feet. Are you serious? Bonifacio with one of the deepest home runs of the year for the Twins. And uh, he is not remotely a power hitter. So he just uh, barreled up on that one. 6-2 to two, the final score in game number two. The Rangers lead the season series 2 to nothing. Uh, Will Myers went 4-4 four for four on the day with a home run and an RBI. Look out for Will Myers. This is uh, very beneficial for the Twins. If Will Myers can perform, he might draw more in a trade. Uh, it's almost positive that the Twins will trade Will Myers here in the next month or so. As his contract will expire, we want to get something back for him. In this rebuilding season, we go to the third game of the series. Game number 81, it's the midway point of the season. Martin Perez facing current real-life teammate Kyle Gibson. 
Perez, a 4.20 ERA. He's 5 and 7 on the year with a 1.28 whip. Not a bad uh, year for Martin Perez. Here is Kyle Gibson's numbers now 4 and 5. 4.47 ERA in 92 thirds innings. And uh, he's struggling a little bit, I think, with pitch selection. Uh, come to come to think that maybe Kyle Gibson is using his uh, sinker a little bit too much here for us this season, and uh, he needs to uh, get ahead with fastballs and then use the sinker as an out pitch. Here he walks in a run with the bases loaded, and it's one to nothing Texas. The Twins would get out of the inning with a double play though, only giving up that one run that was unearned walked in by Kyle Gibson. Miguel Sano in the bottom of the first with runners on the corners and one out. Drives it deep to left field. That one's got a chance. That one has no doubt. Miguel Sano, that is home run number 22, I think. 22nd home run of the year. It's a three-run bomb, and the Twins take the lead 3-1. to one. Maybe we can sneak out a win in this series here. Second inning, Shinsu Chu. 299 with nine home runs, 25 driven in, one out in the inning, 1 0 count. Shinsu Chu gets that one out over the plate and up in the strike zone, and he drives it to the gap in left center field. That one's over the wall. Home run, solo shot for Shinsu Chu. So Shinsu Chu goes yard for the Rangers. It's 3 2 in the middle of the second inning. And now we move to the bottom of the inning. Francisco Cervelli with runners on second and third and two outs, needing a hit to score a run, and he gets a hold of one, barrels it up, home run for Francisco Cervelli. That one goes into the bullpen, and the Twins jump out 6-2, to two. so we're all of a sudden finding some offense after a pretty anemic first couple of games of the series. At the end of two, two three-run home runs have given the Twins a 6-2 to two lead. We go to the fourth inning now, James Milton. 301 average with seven home runs, 28 RBIs. Facing Kyle Gibson, and this one is a rope to right. And it gets over the overhang into the little purple flowers up there. It is a solo home run for James Milton. Cuts the lead in half at 6-3. Twins with the lead. Definitely not a comfortable lead for the Twins. The way our pitching staff can be sometimes. Francisco Cervelli now. Runner on first is Byron Buxton. Cervelli's going to hit this one deep to left. It's going to get over the head of Mazzara. Mazzara, who comes in. And Buxton is going to round third. He's going to score from first without a throw. Byron Buxton rounds the bases. It's 7-3 to three at the end of the fourth. Twins all over the Rangers pitching in this game number three of the series. Fifth inning, A.J. Griffin on to spell Martin Perez. Griffin, a 4.46 ERA, facing Jace Peterson, 287 hitter with nine home runs. He hasn't homered, though, probably since uh, the end of May. And Jace Peterson gets a hold of this one, driving it deep to right, and that's going to be home run number 10, and the Twins finally have a second hitter with double-digit home runs. Miguel Sano with 22, Jace Peterson with 10, everybody else in single digits. Twins 8, Rangers 5, the final score in this game. Twins are on the board against the Rangers. Rangers still lead the season series two games to one with four games to go. One more here at home and then three on the road in Arlington, Texas. Francisco Cervelli, three for four with a home run. And Miguel Sano, one for four with a home run. Jace Peterson homers as well for the Twins. Delino DeShields, two for, uh, three for five with a double and an RBI. Shinsu Chu and James Milton go deep for the Rangers. Game number 82 between Texas and Minnesota. Alejandro Casto, 4-1 and one, a 2.61 ERA, averaging about seven innings per start, making just start number seven on the season. He's got a great 1.16 whip and a very good ERA. Jimmy Dyer is going to take the hill for us. Our experiment with openers continues. Uh, Chad Bettis is out. Jimmy Dyer in as the opener for Carlos Frias, who we called up right before this series started. Will Myers now. Five for eight in the series. Solo home run. 245. Seven home runs on the year. Bottom of the first inning, and he gets one high and in his wheelhouse. Nomar Mazzara comes in on it again. 
horrible instincts out there and left by Nomar Mazzara coming in on that line drive home run by Will Myers. At the end of the first inning, Twins jump out to a one to nothing lead. We moved on to inning number two. This is Didi Gregorius with runners on first and second and one out facing uh, Jimmy Dyer. Little ground ball back to Dyer on to second, on to first for the double play. Gets Dyer out of the inning and our opener gives up no runs. That is the first time in this little opener experiment that the opener has not given up runs. Will Myers at the plate again now in the bottom of the third with two outs, nobody on. Here's the delivery. Will Myers drives another one to deep left. That one is back there. It's into the second deck. And it's the third home run of this series for Will Myers. It's two to nothing, Minnesota. The end of the third. We move to the fourth now. Carlos Frias last year pitched in eight games, had a 7.53 ERA. And he is facing James Milton here with the runner on first and one out. Milton flies this one the opposite way to left. And that one is going to sneak inside the foul pole for a two-run home run. It ties up the game at two. And Carlos Frias gives up a big fly in his first inning back in the major leagues in a season. Did not He was just a September call-up last year. Runners on second and third. Byron Buxton grounds on the right side. Didi Gregorius makes the play on to first for the out, but the run does come in to score. And the Twins retake the lead in the fifth inning at 3-2. to two. Ahead to the sixth we go. JT Shargaw, 4.40 ERA, making his 33rd appearance. And he comes into a bit of a jam with the bases loaded and two outs. And he gives up a ground ball down the third baseline. Run comes in to score, second one rounding third and heading to the plate. Throw is cut off. And the Rangers take a 5-3 lead. That's Elvis Andrus with the two RBI single. And the Rangers just pounding out hits on the Twins pitching staff in this uh, series finale. Miguel Sano with two outs, nobody on. And he just chops this one to left. Tomahawks it out. It's a solo home run for Miguel Sano. It's 5-4 Texas. At the end of inning number six, we're still in the ball game, hoping to split this four-game series at two games apiece. Joey Gallo stepping in now, 269 hitter, 18 home runs, 63 RBIs. Facing JT Chargla with a runner on first and nobody out. JT Chargla gives one up to Joey Gallo. And guys, there's no way around it. JT Chargla sucks. He has been really bad this year. And it's unfortunate because he has been pretty good for us in the past, but he has lost velocity, and that has cost him because he never had great control. Rangers go on to win the series three games to one with a 7-5 to five victory in the finale. Joey Gallo, 3-5 for five with a home run and a double. For us, Will Myers was definitely uh, the star of the game. 3-4 for four with two home runs, two RBIs. Miguel Sano added a home run as well. That's home run number 23 for him. And Will Myers is up to nine home runs now on the season. So we're going to leave this uh, episode there after game number 82. Up next, we're on the road at Fenway Park against the defending World Series champion Boston Red Sox here on the Moldy Cheese Baseball Network.